I used approximately a quarter of the pack of the Janet Collection Jumbo Braid Connecolon hair in the color number 27. And for the Harlem 125 Harlem Braid, I used one pack of the color number 4. And what I love about the Harlem Braid is that it has three individual bulk pieces of Connecolon hair. So you're getting three packs for the price of two, which is a great way to save coins. And each bulk piece measures 30 inches in length. Yes, 30 inches, which goes mighty long away. And I love the texture of the hair. It's very silky. It does not have that dull brilliance. It has a nice luster and it's very natural in appearance, which I definitely appreciate in comparison to Marley braid hair. Now, I want to cut this hair in half at the fold, which is the midpoint. It's still 30 inches, but I am going to fold these pieces again to create 15 inch pieces. Now, with my mesh net wood cap, I'm going to place it on the foam head and you can either use push pins, but since I don't have those, I'm crafty and I like to use my safety pins and insert them in the frontal region as well as the temporal or side regions to make sure that it is secure and does not move. And the nape is pretty sturdy, so I don't really worry about that section. I measured the length of the distance between my left ear and my right ear and it measured eight inches. Now keep that in mind. Now from the base of this mesh net wig cap, I'm going to go up approximately two or even three inches maximum. You can decide what is best for your head circumference. I'm going to do approximately two and a half and I am going to mark out this with a lip liner. I want to use something that is colorful so that I can see on the mesh net wig cap that I will not crochet hair below this line. You must densely crochet hair above the line, but not below this line. It's going to measure eight inches in width, and it's going to be approximately two inches above the base of the wig cap band. So keep that in mind. Now, this space, you're not crocheting any hair here. It is our area designated as free space, so you don't crochet anything here. All right. Now, you can use any method to crochet this hair and because it's a little bit silkier than the Marley braid hair I took a bit more precaution so I'm going to insert the needle just above the band of the wig cap and go approximately three holes in and I'm going to insert the hair into the hook push the latch upward in the closed position position rotate the needle 180 degrees and slide it downward now this is where you have to be very careful. I am going to secure the length of the hair within my left hand. So it's out of the way. Now I'm taking care of the loop with my right hand. And I'm going to divide the loop into half. So I'm going to rotate one half with my index finger 360 degrees and then reinsert it into the loop so that they become one uniform loop. And then I'm going to pull the length of the hair through the loop and I'm going to pull on the two strands very tight and taut to create tension so as to avoid any slipping of the knot. Now, if that method is too convoluted. You know, I got you, girl, I got you. Now, as you can see, I'm putting a little bit of space between each knot that we crochet. And so I'm going to insert the hair into the latch hook. Push the latch upwards, rotate it 180 degrees, and slide it downward. I'm going to take the loop. I'm going to rotate it. Then I'm going to pull the length of the hair through. This should look very familiar. Then I'm going to rotate that loop one more time. Pull the length of the hair through. Do you remember this step? I hope you do. And I'm just going to pull the two strands to make sure that it is tight and secure. And voila! Now, remember the free space. I did not crochet hair below the line that I created with my lip liner. I densely packed the hair just above the line so that I can fill in that area because I need to make sure that I do not shrink my cap. It needs to fit my large head. This is why your cap won't fit is because you shrink the circumference. Okay? Now, 
as for the seam maybe you were confused but I wanted to show you how I crochet the hair around the seam I'm going to gather it horizontally and cinch it with my fingers insert the latch hook needle through and then I'm going to reinsert it in the opposite direction making sure to gather the seam and keep it tight and I'm inserting a very small piece of hair as you can see I'm going to do that rotation of the 180 degrees slide it downward and I am going to twist my loop you can twist the loop once or twice and then I'm going to pull on the two strands this is what's the most important you have to pull until you see a very very defined knot again I'm cinching the hair and holding it in between my two fingers pushing that latch hook needle through pushing it backward gathering that seam so I'm you know reducing it in size and I'm crocheting very small pieces of hair but very close together and you know I'm doing my twist and loop method and I'm pulling the length of the hair through the loop and I'm going to pull on my two strands so as to really create a tight knot to avoid slipping now remember when you get to the area of your crown you need to go through approximately two to three holes max in other parts of the hair you can go through three to five holes but once you get to the crown you need to push and position each knot closer together that is imperative because you are crocheting the hair in closer together you will naturally begin to shrink the area at the front so it'll be tighter and it'll be much more full that is what you want to do so I'm just showing you guys how I am crocheting the hair very close together I'm just you know more so creating rolls of hair very close together and once I'm done I'm going to spritz the hair with water and I'm using Talia Wajid the curly curl cream because this is my favorite I will not be using any other product except for the Talia Wajid curly curl cream because it's perfect and I'm gonna take another individual piece and just a little bit of the curly curl cream by Talia Wajid and I'm gonna detangle with this comb and I'm gonna be using my purple rod okay and I'm just gonna twist very close to the knots just so I keep them secure and I am going to do this winding downward motion and I'm going to be very neat because I want my curls to be defined you can see the hair has a nice luster and you see how that color number 27 looks it just looks beautiful and you're gonna do that all the way until you reach the very ends of the hair the very very ends and I'm going to use the clasp to secure the perm rod in place there you go I did this for the entire wig and this is like a bundle of perm rods the wig the mesh neck cap is you know within all these perm rods so I'm you doing this in my sink I pull the plunger up so that the water is not released from the sink and it's contained within one general area and I can essentially dip my hair and I did this for anywhere between 45 to 60 seconds and I'm gonna push the plunger down so that the water is released and it's draining out and I'm just leaving behind my mesh net wig cap with the perm rods and I let it air dry overnight and this is what I got voila I mean I hope you like it I hope I gave you life. I just had to come on and show you guys that I really love this style. It's shorter. It's curlier. It's cute. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching.